What you're seeing is the CCTV footage and the last known footage of a 21-year-old Canadian woman named Elisa Lam. This footage was taken from the elevator of the Cecil Hotel in Los Angeles on January 31, 2013 shortly before she's believed to have died. Which the door fails the closed she steps up to it leans forward so her head is through the door looks in both directions and then quickly steps back in backing up to the wall and then into the corner near the control panel the door remains open she goes to the control panel presses many more buttons some more than once and then returns to the wall she had come into the elevator from putting both hands over her ears again briefly as she walks back to the section of walls she had been standing. Her body was discovered two weeks later at the bottom of a water tank on the roof of the building hotel workers found the body while responding to complaints about the water in the hotel being discovered as well as a foul smell and taste her decomposing. There are numerous uncanny coincidences and suspicious circumstances surrounding this case but oddly enough her behavior may not be one of them according to the site body language success lamb's behavior bears signs of attentively playful nature perhaps appears to stay open for an unnaturally long time but it has since been confirmed by recent guests that tested the elevator for themselves the only one in the building that pressing the door open button which she can be seen pressing multiple times will speed of the video has also been slowed down substantially stretching just under three minutes of footage out just over four there was a point in the video where the time clearly skips ahead indicating the loss of an indeterminate amount of time however Film the death of a young girl is discovered when boarders at an apartment complain of dark foul water and find a body in the building's water tank there is also a scene in the film where the protagonist encounters a specter of the girl in the between June and December while this may not be relevant to the case whatsoever it still strikes a lot of people as somewhat odd so here are the facts about the case the roof could be accessed without a key and without setting off the alarm there is a even close the tank from the inside regardless of what psychological state she may have been in there is no possible way that Elisa could have gotten into the tank then closed it from the inside on her own her death was first ruled as could not be. A previous botched autopsy the third page of the official autopsy report mentions the presence of sand and a clothing that coincides with the type of particulate one might find on the roof of a building the amount found would indicate that at some point. And appalling conditions so out of all the conspiracies and theories the one thing that still sticks out to me that hasn't been explained is if she opened the lid on her own took off her clothes and drowned in a small pool of water who put the lid back. <laughs>